Hello guys and welcome back to another chemistry episode. So we are doing chemistry today. And of course, we are going to be looking at the applications of electrolysis. Application of electrolysis. Alright, and of course we are going to see what some few of them. But before we do that, let's see a question from the O3 Schools Jam app. This is a 2009 question, number 23. Number 23, okay? And it says, which of the following metals is purified commercially by electrolysis? Which of the following metals is purified commercially by electrolysis? A, we are giving zinc. B, we are giving iron. C, we are giving tin. D, we are giving what? Copper, okay? So at the end of this video, we'll come back to this what? Uh, uh, to this question and other questions and what and answer them. Okay, so without further ado, let's look at the applications of electrolysis. The applications of electrolysis. Okay, now one of the first foremost application of electrolysis is what is the extraction of what of metals from what from their ores. Okay, now, example, we say what number one application extraction of metals like eg potassium remember i told you in the previous episodes that was those metals that are at the top of the electrochemical series right they can be extracted from their ores by what by, electro, by electrolysis so applications of oil electrolysis would be what extraction of other metals like potassium k like what like sodium like what like magnesium like aluminium like what like zinc right and of course uh, this is because they can what they can form what two stable what compounds. They can form two stable compounds that are what difficult to be reduced by simple reducing agents. They form what they form what two stable compounds that are difficult to be reduced, right? They are difficult to reduce by what simple reducing agent like what carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide. Okay, they form what two stable compounds that are difficult to be reduced by this kind of carbon monoxide is a simple reducing agent. So, see, carbon monoxide cannot reduce what cannot reduce what the compounds. Okay, so instead, we use what very powerful reducing agents. We use very powerful reducing agents such as such as the cathode, cathode of an electrolytic cell. Okay, we use the cathode of an electrolytic cell as a what as a reducing agent for what for what for this what compounds. Okay, for this stable compound that they form. All right. So also know that what um, uh, um, one of the application of what of electrolysis is that they can also be used to what to uh, to obtain halogens. They can be used to what obtain halogens such as what uh, uh, fluorine and chlorine. They can be used to what obtain what these halogens. They can also be used to what to, to, to obtain what hydrogen, hydrogen from what from metal ores. Okay, so please take note of what of that. So we say what extraction of metals right from their ores. Like example is calcium, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc. So you can see a question right in jam. They say which of the following cannot be what extracted from what from their ores. I'm sure we have seen what a question like that in previous what episode. All right, so please take note of what of that. Okay, so the structure of metals from their ores so that what calcium, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, and zinc. And I say, and I say what these ones they form what two stable compounds that cannot be easily reduced by simple reducing agents such as what carbon monoxide. All right. And I told you that what they can only be reduced by what by very powerful reducing agents, such as such as the cathode of an electrolytic cell. Okay, and I also said they can be used to obtain halogens, such as what fluorine and what and chlorine. I also said they can also uh, obtain what hydrogen from what from metal ores. Okay, so please, that is one of what the applications of what of electrolysis is very very useful in the extraction of metals. Okay, so two, we are now going to look at what the purification of metals. Number two, purification of metals. Okay, so one of the application of what of uh, uh, of electrolysis is that what metals can be what can be purified. Okay, it, can be, it is used for what for the purification of what metals, especially those what metals that are below the what electrochemical was series that are down down of the electrochemical series. Example, please take note of what of them. Example is what is copper, e.g. copper. 
Okay, EG is what Mercury, right? Silver and what and gold. So all this metal can be what can be purified through what electrolysis. Okay, then of course we also have what uh another what usefulness of what of electrolysis, which is what in what in electroplating, electroplating of metals to prevent them from corrosion from corrosion okay so it is used in what in the electroplating of what of metals to prevent them from what from corrosion one of one of one where you find useful application of course is like in your car right in cars when car parts are made because of what of of, of uh, atmospheric oxygen as well as what rain and uh, other what factors those metal parts in cars have to be electroplated with some with some other words with some other words, metals like nickel like gold and so on and so forth so that what so that what they will not be able to what easily what get what rusty okay so that's one of the usefulness even in your kitchen kitchen utensils because they are usually always in contact with what with water you are washing there with water as you are eating when you are putting there inside your lips right contacting water it can easily what get what rusty okay so they are easily what electroplated with what like silver you can see silver spoons you see golden spoons these are usefulness of what of these are applications rather of what of electrolysis okay also they, they can also be used in preparation of what of, of some compounds right number four in preparation of some compounds such such as uh, sodium hydroxide naoh and and sodium triazochlorate five okay sodium triazochlorate five that is n a c l o what three so uh, one of the application of water of electrolysis is in the water in preparation of some compound so that sodium hydroxide and sodium triazochlorate is what five okay so these are some of the usefulness or applications of what of electrolysis so before we what before what we go now we're going to what, look at what at uh, the question from what that we looked at at the beginning chemistry 2009 number 23 from the o3 school jump app like i've said if i've not downloaded that app you are doing yourself download the app immediately start practicing right it has wonderful features the classroom feature it has uh, the question set feature it has the utme challenge the challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing jam for a particular year right you are competing every weekend you are taking mock exam competitive mock exams with other students you are winning prizes you are getting used to how jam set a question you are seeing your results so you are able to what to to know how how far you have gone in your preparation and then you answer the jam question you are building your confidence so that when the main jam exam comes you'll be able to crush it okay so please Take note what of what of that and what download that app activation is just three thousand naira. So please click on activate on the app after downloading. Click on activate at the top. You see where they wrote buy activation key. Just click on it and you'll see the options for activation. You can use your card ATM card. It's very safe. Please, it's very safe. All right, this is a this is an official platform. Okay, is it is the business is registered right here in Nigeria, so you cannot be scammed. Okay, so you can use your card pay. To get automatic activation, or you can transfer to the OTD Schools app account, right? Or you can use what your Google Pay to what to make your payment. Pay, get activated, and what start practicing today. Join that challenge, very important. So that question says, uh, it's a chemistry 2009 question number 23. So which of the following metals is purified commercially by electrolysis? Like we have said, one of the application of electrolysis is in the purification of metals like copper mercury silver and gold let's see which uh, option zinc is there it's not iron is there it is wrong tin is there it is wrong we are seeing what copper there so copper is very very well very very correct okay so please if you do not know it you do not know it so that's why you have to what like this video subscribe to this channel and what keep sharing this video so that others can learn and i'll see you in the next episode where we start talking about Faraday's laws of electrolysis. Thank you and see you in the next class.